Jean Serge Gagnon here and today I'm coming to you from my tuxedo wearing hotel room and we're going to talk about the things that you can do with Click eCourse today as of September 2021 the features that are available I'm sorry about the lighting I mean it's not perfect but yeah so we're going to talk about what can you do with Click eCourse now what is the site if you want an update we're going to talk about the things you can do on Click eCourse in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so yeah so my daughter is getting married and I've got a suit I'm I'm in Halifax right now that's why I'm dressed up and I'm going to be doing that uh, tomorrow she's getting married tomorrow actually the day they're going to that this is going to get published and we uh, and I just wanted to show you the suit and my socks right you saw my sock just showed you a second ago but if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to make sure you go check out the video at cis372.jsgagnon.com where you're going to be able to see the video you're going to be see that I'm wearing my tuxedo actually let me show you a little bit more right this is the tuxedo over here so let's turn that off right there yeah so this tuxedo and I'm even wearing you know I'm even wearing I'm even wearing pants because you know you never know right you always see just the top of my body but yeah so you gotta go check that out and we're gonna talk about click e-course and what click e-course is doing right now I'm in a hotel room so I don't have my second monitor so I'm gonna have to switch to the view of the screen it won't be as pretty as usual because we're gonna see the OBS uh, dashboard there but let me just actually go and do that share this screen and uh, there we go all right so what is Click eCourse so I got the that's in the wrong spot there we go what is Click eCourse first of all Click eCourse is a course hosting site that's what it was built for but there's a whole bunch of other features that you can do on the site I actually have the list right here right and we're going to talk about these different things what do I mean by that so you can host simple video courses you can host complex courses with modules and quizzes you can host drip content courses you can host your own WordPress blog site you can create content to syndicate a video across all platforms you can host a podcast for all the big podcasting platforms you can create your own links page you can create your own course hosting site your school right you can create your own software hosting site and you can create your own domain redirection links domain right uh, I'm going to show you what all this is all about there's those are some of the features I mean it can do more than that there's other things that you can do on Click eCourse I mean if we go to Click eCourse site and click on the plans you can see there's like you know I don't know a hundred things here listed that you can do on the site depending on which plan you choose right and that's kind of what Click eCourse is is uh, is uh is is, uh, is about it but that's like overwhelm right? there's way too much stuff in here um and I don't want to I wouldn't go through all these things but let me just go through these different things so host simple video courses what are simple video courses what do I mean by simple video courses um on all platforms you can create a course that has videos in it right so basically two five ten videos right like five minute videos that kind of thing where you just upload the video and then you create a course from it by just making the videos part you know lessons in the course kind of thing right the difference with Click eCourse and most other sites there's there's comparisons I did before is mainly that on Click eCourse you just create the course and then upload the videos and then that's it you've got your course with your lessons right of course you got to give the lessons names and you can have their their summary and you can have the course title and the course um all the different things but I mean it's really that simple right you just create the course and then create the lessons why do I say it's different because most other platforms you have to create a and which which is good right because it forces you into a process it, it's not as it's not as it's not as uh how can I put it as it's not 
prone to errors as much when you're forced into a process but it does take longer it's more complicated to do when you have to decide on the sections and on the modules and then you have to add the content to the modules and then that makes you one module maybe with one or two lessons and then you have the next module and the next section and you got to define all these different pieces to end up creating a course even though it's a simple course with just videos you still have to go through the process of creating all these modules and all these sections and and organizing them that way right that's the difference with click eCourse on click eCourse you don't have to do that so if I go here and I just register an account I'm just going to register an email here I'm going to call it uh it doesn't really matter I'll just call it cis372 uh, and then we're just going to register this account so I'm going to save the password because I don't really and then if I go to my emails reload my emails you will see I have an email I have a bunch of junk mail right spam and stuff but it's all part of my what am I what I'm I'm in I'm a marketer so I'm part of all these different things so there's the account activation on click eCourse all you got to do is you got to click on this link here and we're just going to open uh, well let's just it doesn't really matter let's go like this now it's activated now if I go back to the other window and I reload it I'll be logged in all right because it uses cookies to log in all that stuff right so now I'm logged in I have an, an, I have a my profile little profile picture if I had done a registration using uh Facebook it would have automatically got my profile picture and that kind of stuff, those things but for now it's just like this so if I click on the plus here I can say I want to create a new course that's how you create a new course first you got to give it the title test course cis372 and then you give it a summary this is a test course and then you can give it details you can say you'll learn learn about x right so then that becomes your course I, and there's all these different things you can do I'm not going to cover all this but there's a cover image there's a price you can give your course um and uh, categories and header code like you know tracking code uh, Facebook pixels that kind of stuff you can put all that in there uh, but I'm just going to click on done here and I just have a course that doesn't have a cover picture so it just says this C is it and then I just create new lessons I go click on the plus right here for like or I can click on plus go to lesson and then I can create a new lesson so all I got to do is I got to put the YouTube link right here actually let's open up my YouTube channel and I'll just show you uh, the the basic is just all you do is you create um you just put a link here I'm gonna get this link uh whoops get your little link and then I just paste that in here and then I just uh it's not free no uh, allow comments there's I don't need an image it's gonna get it I'm just gonna say save and then that basically adds a lesson to the course it's just a video lesson so you can do that multiple times you end up with um uh, multiple videos for your course just that way by just pasting YouTube links right and it automatically becomes a lesson in your course if I go to the course now now I see I have one lesson I can make this I can make this published and now I have my course I have one lesson in it I can go and publish it now I can go into uh, edit course <laughs> and then I just go under access and I just say public I'm just going to make it unlisted right now instead and then that's it so now if anybody uh, gets this link here which you can't see right now but let's click on the share if anybody gets this link here they will see your course and be able to follow or buy it if it's a course you sell otherwise if it's a free course they'll be able to you know add it to the library and be able to start the course so that's a simple video course all you all you do is you create the course and then uh, you uh, cre upload the videos or you use YouTube if you're using the free account you got to use YouTube uploads but there's other options so I'm not going to get into all of that but that's the, the thing so what do I mean by complex courses with modules and quizzes as I said most sites force you to create modules and that means you have to have a structure to your course you have to have maybe multiple lessons in one in one module right and that and that's kind of like how that works so you, when you create your modules uh you're basically defining a section right it's like a chapter in a book or things like that and like I said it's great that you that they do that it gives more structure and you can do that with Click eCourse as well 
so once you have your course you can actually switch it to module modules just click on the module selection and then it just changes the view to a module view and that allows you to now oh I guess there's a I'll oh, have to look into that but basically there's no modules right now that's probably why that error is there but I can create a new module by just clicking the new module right here now I have a new module I'm going to call this mo introduction and I can say summary this is the introduction and as you as you can see you can create this with bold and I can say bold on this right I can um, create a link and add a table put colors on that so it's a it's what you call a YC we get it there so you can make it all uh, the way you want it to do so now I'm just going to save that now I have one module it's called introduction so now in the introduction there's nothing in it right now but if I edit the module I can add an item to the module now I'm going to add this item this is introduction again that's the thing right you get this module inside the module you're going to have content so that's why I say it's more complex so intro intro introduction right and uh, the item details this is the introduction video and I have to select the type it's a lesson video a file or a quiz so I'm going to say lesson video and I'm going to choose this one and now that's the video inside of this uh, module right so let's just uh, pause that but if I just say close module edit now I have my introduction with a video in here it says it's red because it hasn't been um, done yet but if I mark done now it's green so and you can add multiple modules like that they become just these pull down things as you go through and you can choose to watch uh each of them it's anyways whatever that's that's the module thing you can also create quizzes and quizzes are more complex I'm not going to go into that but basically just saying that that is what the complex courses with modules and quizzes is that you can do on Clicky course all right so next host a drip content courses drip content courses are basically courses that drip content over time so instead of having access to the course and then seeing all the videos and being able to watch all of them being overwhelmed by 20 videos in a course not knowing where to start which one should I watch today that kind of thing you can have drip content so it's kind of like adding lessons to a course over you know every couple of days so that they're not available until the day of so I I use that for uh, hosting a virtual summit so if I go to for example um just if I look at all the courses that are on the platform there's a few of them that are bitcloud virtual summit that I did right um where's the there's the the current one I think is it uh, yeah that's the current one uh I think <laughs> let's go to it anyways so if I go to this you can see that it's free add to your library that's because I made the access to it free right so right now it's showing there's only four videos but there are a lot more than that in here there's like there's like 40 videos in this summit and I don't have I guess it didn't show the date there but if I let me see if I if I if I uh I gotta see how, how much time how much time are we in here we're at 13 minutes okay good sorry about the so like I said this because I don't have a separate monitor you can see both that that uh, that OBS dashboard right because I'm recording using that all right so in here there's there's you set in a drip course that's why you can only see four courses right now right four lessons I mean four videos in the drip course you decide what content shows up when within the drip course I'm actually going to log in here as myself and I'm going to log in as me and I'm going to show you this trip course as you can see right now because I'm the admin now all of them are available right and you can also see on the menu here because that's another option you can do with the with the well with any courses really you can create these menus on the side here instead of what we saw earlier for the other one but basically uh, in here you can skip to any of these directly if I want to go and it skip straight to it um oops pause it. and the course when I look at it if I go to details here if I edit the course 
you can see that in the type up here it says course type drip content over time and it's showing that it's starting September 20th which is not in the future <coughs> at 8 a.m so that means that on September 20th the first courses the first videos that are marked to be available on day one will become available until then it's as if those don't exist for anybody who's on the who's in the in the course right then you can have another lesson show up at, on day two on day three on day four or you can make it one week apart it's really up to you you choose how the drip content works you choose how that uh, becomes available to people so it allows you to choose to make things available on whichever day so when I go to let's say I go back to the course uh, let's just go back to the course here <laughs> you can see these all these lessons are here if I look at the let's say I edit I look at the well let's edit this one so this one here is day one this is day one day two right I, these are just titles they don't mean anything but if I go to say this one uh, edit day three inside of the whoops let's get that out of there inside of the settings you can choose to have multiple videos and basically what you do is you decide which video is available before the you know before the the drip starts you decide what is available is it is it something pre-drip video right pre-drip video <laughs> sorry I was showing you the wrong one pre-drip video means what video am I going to make available before the start and you can do that by having like a little intro video that says this is not available yet but it'll be about this this will be the topic you can look for it on day four whatever you decide and you can put something there or you just say none it just means there's it's like if it doesn't exist uh, pre-drip full access that's because there's an option to have full access to the course by making a, a sale uh, and then the poster video is what video shows up when it becomes it's time to show up and how does it work you say drip start when does that drip come in is it on the first day second day third day right it's you know which day is it right they up I it's set up right now up to 365 if we ever wanted more I guess we could add the feature for that but for now it's a, a year ahead <coughs> and drip length you can say is it a day is it two days or one week that means how long is that video available uh, when 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 it becomes available because there's a pre-drip and a post-drip right so post drip uh yeah sorry so when the drip window is open for that video it shows the main video so where's the it shows the the main video right here this video here which is the main video of the course then you choose on the post drip after this this drip length is over what is available so anyways that's what the drip courses are that's how you configure them and that's kind of how it works so number four you can host your own wordpress blog site that just that means you can have a total self-managed self-controlled wordpress website as part of the platform so where how you do that you go to your menu here and then you go to blog I guess it's this I gotta fix that it's this it's not supposed to be disabled uh, there's not supposed to be an x there we'll have to fix that but anyways when you first go on the site this is not going to be there it's going to say no you don't it's going to say you don't have a blog yet you can there's going to be a button to click to activate it and then it becomes your blog site so if I go to access your blog I've been using this for like a while now so this is my blog right my blog is and I choose the theme I choose how how it's uh, configured I did I do everything it's a WordPress blog you can do whatever you can do with WordPress on here and you can choose your plugins you can choose the theme right appearance the theme you can choose a theme that you want uh, add a new theme and I make it a different theme all these things are available to you it's WordPress it's a total WordPress site once you have your WordPress set up you can start to create pages and post content host things and you know things like that so if I go back here 
this is my blog right now I can you can do everything you can do with WordPress I I have pages here coaching work with JS digital courses contact me social media you know that kind of stuff you can do whatever you want on your WordPress blog it's based on WordPress so yeah so <laughs> sorry so that's what it is you can have your own WordPress blog site on the platform and it's part of the even on the free account you can have one okay so uh you can create oops not created but create content to syndicate a video across all platforms so what does that mean so when you like me when I create a video I want to I want to share it everywhere but I but you can't share a 30 minute video on on Instagram t uh, well you can on IGTV but not on Instagram you can't uh, on LinkedIn there's a uh, I think it's a 10 minute limit on Twitter it's a two minute limit so there's all these different things on different platforms they have different ways of uh what different rules for allowing things like on Instagram you want an image on on Twitter you want a short text with maybe a video or an image all those things are all different so this lets you create content from a video so basically if I go back to here and I go back into here I go to my syndication right here <coughs> you choose a series I created a bunch of them but if I just go to course income secrets which is this one it lets me see all the different uh I can I have you know I've done like I've been using it for a long long time so all these different uh <laughs> syndication so the way it works is you create a new syndication you tell it what video is the source and then based on your configuration because the, there's a there is a default but you can cus fully customize what these you know do you want an image do you want a gif do you want a jpeg do you want a png do you want an audio out of it do you want uh just the first five minutes do you want subtitles do you like all these things are all customizable so for me what I do when I create it I've got all these things that it creates for me from the one video it creates all these texts right if I look at this this is the text for Facebook oops that's open up here uh over here I've got the text for my email then I have you know text for YouTube I have and they're all very similar but some of them have different lengths they have some of them have a link at the bottom some of them uh don't you know don't have uh just have like if I look at uh, t Twitter it's very short right the, the Twitter is very short right um and then there's the actual thumbnail the video thumbnail is an image like this the thumbnail right or I have a gif I have a gif <coughs> which is basically a moving image but it's an image right a gif or gif uh then I have an, an image that I want to have a little play button on top of it that's another thing I can generate I can also generate subtitles if I have the subtitles it goes and gets it out of YouTube once they're generated and then I can have a video with the subtitles on it like the IGTV video it's formatted vertically so it fits let's turn the sound out so it fits inside of this like you can't really tell because it's black on black but this is a video that is formatted for IGTV it's a vertical video I've got like a header on here and I've got the subtitles showing up underneath so that they show up in the feed with the subtitles and you know there's these different things like this is a smaller version of the oh, I guess it's messed up uh, sometimes that can happen is this messed up too yeah that one's messed. I don't know I don't use those I guess they're in the list uh, but they're not automatically done it's not the default but that's what syndication once you have your syndicated content even the audio right I have the audio right here for I have the audio right here for oh, I guess that's not going to work because it's so oh yeah it does okay so this is the audio right the audio that's part of my video the 34 minute audio I use that to upload to a podcasting site although I have there oh, well there's another thing but that's the syndication engine that's how that works so what is next create content syndicate right so host a podcast that's what I was talking about with the audio <clears throat> I have two different ways that I'm hosting my podcast right now so we're not going to talk about method one we're going to talk about method two which is on click eCourse so I have in my courses I have a course called CIS <clears throat> for Alexa so that's basically where I upload all the five minute videos the four minute 50 videos that come out of the syndication engine I put them in here and they become part of the 
the cis for alexa um series okay so what I do is I just upload the video and the platform takes care of extracting the audio out of it and then all I have to do is share the rss feed for alexa under feeds here I just share the rss feed I just put this link here in alexa's configuration whenever you're creating your alexa skill there's a whole episode on that that I talk about but you can create this and you can also use a regular rss feed this one here for uh, soundcloud for itunes for uh, iHeartRadio, for um, stitcher for all the different platforms they just want a url of where the content is and they're gonna let you host it so if I go to you know if I I actually have all these um if I go to say <coughs> uh what is it iTunes so this is iTunes I have an iTunes podcast this is my course income secrets podcast this is actually there right here so as soon see as soon as I post this video it'll show up here as a new podcast and they're all here right there's well, anyways there's more if I go to um where I have it on stitcher 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 on stitcher I have the course income secrets as well on there so basically they're here right and that's just by sharing that rss feed uh and then I have on iHeart radio iHeart radio as well course income secrets right I see them right here and commissions 14th oh it looks like they stopped updating that's interesting I'll have to look at, into that or maybe it's because these are the most popular ones or something I don't know some of the platforms I don't know how they decide right on but that's that's the there and then what else do I have I have Google uh what is it called Google uh Google podcasts podcast I'm not sure if this will work it's a Google podcast no it's not it goes to my blog um I'm not really sure there's a couple of different other ones but that's basically how you do a podcast so all you got to do is you got to create I'm going to turn this off this this is not super oh well, maybe I yeah it's better okay so um so yeah so and I'm doing I do that here in course income secrets and also in if I just uh move this search here uh, there's also the other one which is the full videos course income secrets can, can you see it course income secrets uh, this is the one here yeah so this one here is the the full videos right the the 40 minute 25 minute 35 28 right 33 33 38 36 whatever the longer videos and it's the same thing I just upload the video and then I share this in the feed the rss feed I just use this rss feed in the configuration on iTunes and on Google podcasts and all these other places that I've got the course the hosting done all right so that's how you do a podcast uh create your own links page so the links page is a relatively new feature it's kind of like Linktree where you have a page that just has buttons to go to other places so you're going to have your one link page on your bio on Instagram or on TikTok other platforms that don't let you have anything other than just a single link and uh and that's kind of how it works so all you have to do is go in here and you click on the links right here and then that takes you to the links page the configuration where you can choose a background this is just a test right but basically you can have different color buttons and you can have a different background if I just edit the theme here I can change the background to I don't know this here right uh there's different background options I'm not sure exactly how much we're going to make things um what you can do with the free versus the paid it's relatively new so you know it's basically just all these different things you can do these black backgrounds you can even have a video background if you want there's one example in here um video background right here right uh, there's a background um if I do a preview no I guess I guess you have to go to the site if I go to the site if I go to this site now when I look at it I see the video in the background 
should load up here in a second maybe my internet's not fast enough but anyways yeah you can do videos like this so that's kind of how that works okay so uh let's just go back to the theme I'm just and but what I've done is I've got I've got a um that's kind of what it looks like when you have this uh okay but you can also have a your own domain for a uh platform that's a separate thing I don't think I've listed it here but that a lot this is this is free you can do a free site like this whichever way you want to have it look or you can pay an extra to have a your own domain which is what I have obviously uh, but if I go into links uh no that's not it it's under sites and then I have my ask.js right here this is basically the same same editor if I go to the links tab now I can see the links for my this is my actual ask Jean Sur. so if I open this and I open it into a new tab this is my site right this is my links right now it's just like this can the look can be all different obviously but that's what it is and if I go to my say if I go to my TikTok you can see that that's the link I have here right I have astral search which takes me to this to this link which is this page right um the other thing you can see is on the page on the actual um view here you can see that there was the number of impressions in the last 24 hours in the last seven days and in the last 30 days so that's how much I've been it's been seen I can show you also the clicks for each of the buttons you can see the number of clicks for each of the buttons this is the last day the last seven days and the last um 30 days right and these are these go to different things so if I if I click on it it takes me to there right to show me what it is but um it doesn't register if you're in the editor but yeah so that's how you create your own links page so okay so next is create your own course hosting site your own school so you whenever you go to click eCourse you can create a course or an advanced course or a drip course in the click eCourse platform or if you want you can create your own site now this is a little bit more advanced but it basically lets you create your own site that has just your course in it so if I go for example let's log back in as the test user uh, right there we go let's log back in as the test user it's going to be 3c yeah that's the one okay so if I go back into here uh actually let's reload the page okay so if I go back into here under more there is a uh, I guess oh there it is new site do not admin okay create new site so when you create a new site you can choose to, to be a school a blog site a port software portfolio domain and all these different things the school is let's say I say um my school jsg.com right so if you read you got to register a domain for this right you got to register your own domain um and then what happens is it lets you create a new site let's call it my school okay uh the summary is not necessary for a uh, school I we, and then but the, uh but then let's say next there's no links okay so anyways we have the site now if I just say done right here oh I forgot the status I gotta edit the status make it active it's got to be active for you to be able to put courses in it okay so this is the site now uh edit uh status oh I guess you can't edit the status here I'll have to fix that but anyway so that's so that's how you create a site now once you have your site then um you can create only one site when you have a free plan so you can upgrade your plan to have more sites but if I go to my courses if I go here under courses this is the courses I created that's what shows up here and I edit the course under access um under sales under access 
see under uh, sister sites which I have to fix this <laughs> sorry about that I'm trying to show you things that are are supposed to work and I guess right now it's not working right the idea is that you would have another tab here that's uh, that's sites and in there you would make your course available in that site that becomes the one site the other thing you can do too is you can actually log in once your dns is set up and everything else is set up you can actually log into your site instead of clicky course and then you can upload your course there and that's probably a process I gotta fix obviously it's not working that great but that's kind of the idea create your own software hosting site now a software hosting site is a site that has a lot less stuff on there uh, lots of things are hidden away but it allows you to create an API and I uh, access uh, like a chrome extension like for example I've got this chrome extension right now that I'm developing right now it's called face well, I don't know the name is going to change but basically it's uh, uh, a chrome extension that lets you find users that are active in groups so that you can then visit their profile and comment on their stuff right uh, instead of you having to do it manually it just goes in through your groups that you like you can select your groups you can add groups here and then that lets you uh, uh, do that but the idea is that it's got to save its data somewhere it's got to know whether you're logged in right now it says I'm logged in if I log out now where is it going to go right so that's on the software side I have a software site that I call software uh, socialpromanager.com and that is the website that is allows me to anyways it's a little it's the, obviously this is advanced stuff but it's in something that you can do if you have questions you can always reach out and we can talk about it but that's one thing you can do the other thing is a domain redirection links so I'm not sure whether I'm naming it right but the idea again is it's a site so I'm going to log back into my main account and I'm going to log in here okay so <laughs> if I go to my admin the sites if I go to the sites I have a whole bunch of different sites here one of them is a forwarding domain so basically what that means if I go to the forwarding domain what that means is that if I enter anything dot jsgagnon.com it'll automatically forward to that same name dot jeansergegagnon.com so that means that allows me to have multiple domains that all go to the same place especially if you want a short one like my full domain name instead of me saying my full domain go to aweber.jeansergegagnon.com and I have to spell for you my name it becomes difficult uh, because it's a name that's not you know easily recognizable by every every language right so if I just at least js Gagnon is a little simpler it would be nicer if I had even a shorter domain like jsg link or something right or whatever I would want or js links maybe I actually have that if I go to my domain uh where is it if I go to my domain manager <coughs> and I go to my ask no not that one so J, I actually think I yeah I see I got JSG links here and JSG page JSG web I should probably use one of those but basically what happens is I can just whatever domain I configured in here if I go to my DNS of my main my main domain I put everything in here my blogs uh, my my CIS ones and then other all the other stuff I always I always have these right first leads free guide freelancer free leads funnel um Facebook you know easy course course talk click funnels ig ihub instagram you know all these things they're all in here with a url redirect to something else right but me having to tell people to go to pws.jeansergegagnon.com it's a lot easier for me to just say pws.jsgagnon.com right it's a shorter version but how does that work inside of my other domain if I go back to the js gagnon domain this domain here is very simply just redirected everything is redirected to the click eCourse site so then what happens is in click eCourse I tell it that anything that's coming in as jsgagnon.com I want you to forward to this domain with the 
you know first part in it and that's that's all I got to do so now once that's done and it's configured then anybody does anything in front of my short domain they'll end up on the long domain version automatically by this now there's a few other things in here that I did that I have but they don't need to be there but just kind of give you an idea of so what that is so that's that's and there's other stuff you can do probably on Click eCourse that I haven't thought of that I could show you um but you know that's the mm, the basis of it right now as of September 2021 these are the things you can do on Click eCourse and yeah hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out and until next time this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.